And what Planck said when he did the same thing with quantum mechanics is he didn't convert a single one of his Maxwellian friends to accepting his quantum mechanical interpretation, which made sense of the data. But what happened was, any student could then go and test that for themselves and find that Planck was right and what they were doing to what their professors was wrong. So the professors could go blue in the face trying to maintain the, the Ptolemaic system at one stage or the uh, Maxwellian at the other. The students would just listen politely but note that there's anomaly that these guys can't accept, they can't change their faith enough. And ultimately, they have to retire or they die. They get replaced by new students who say, right, now I can work on what I believe. Mm. And you get a new belief taking over. Economics doesn't do that. Instead, the type of things which disturb the paradigm in economics, for example, the financial crisis in 2008, that's gone. People have forgotten about it. Mm. That's not a science. That's not a science. That's a religion.